What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play some more of Pokemon Yellow. Last episode, we pretty much... Oops, I don't want to be... We pretty much just went into the Safari Zone, but we all, we got freaking Surf, and we got some golden freaking teeth, and it's freaking amazing! Um, let's see what this says. Name, Voltorb. The very image of a Pokeball. He looks so mad, bro. Why so mad, bro? Um, anyways, yeah, in this episode, we got, yeah, like I said, we got the, um, the gold teeth, and now, using the gold teeth, there was someone who had a bit of a speech impediment we could actually bring these gold teeth to, and he's right here, it said something about Warden, Safari Zone, Warden's house, what? How about that Safari Zone was, clearly not the Safari Zone at all, come on, get in the house, hmm, what's this say? Old Pokemon merchandise. That's adorable. What does this say? I'm just snooping through your stuff, man. Don't don't even bother to look. I can't even read that. Or look at that, rather. Ash gave the gold teeth to Warden. Oh, it didn't let me talk to him again. The Warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid! No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. I should receive HMO4. That's right. We seriously just got HMO3 and then literally, like, within 10 minutes after, they gave you HMO4. That's kind of weird. Like, you get so much in this town. It's weird, man. Not, not, not the nugget. Good lord. Okay, I do not know who can learn s um, strength. I'm betting, yeah, Bunny Foo Foo. I'm not surprised. Trippy. What does Trippy already know? Does he already know an HM? Oh, God. Well, it's either that or Gyarados, and I don't really want to teach Gyarados that. D oh, yeah, he knows Dig. Yeah, but Dig's good. Strength is really bad. The seismic toss. Ember's pretty terrible. But at least it's a fire move, right? Dig is amazing. Slash is pretty great. I guess we're gonna get rid of seismic toss for now. By for now, I mean forever. <laughs> I mean, they're all good moves, but is he, is he like Gyarados? Gyarados already knows. Or well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should have taught that the Gyarados actually. Come to think of it. Alright, so now we know strength. This requires strength to move. Indeed it does. And surprise, surprise, we have strength thanks to Trippy now. Yeah, actually not really thanks to him, but more like, you know, I did it all the work and I just taught him it. I did all the work. Alright. Use it. Yep. And you can indeed. There we go. And there we go! That's what strength does. It moves boulders and that's really it. <laughs> so you get a rare candy. As a kid, this took me forever to figure out. I didn't know how the Safari Zone worked. It was too confusing to me as a child. Um, who should we use this on? Love, he's only level 20. I should probably start. Yeah, definitely Gyarados. That shouldn't have even been a question, actually. Alright. So, with that, I believe we're done with this town. It's a massive town, like I was saying. I don't know if I'm actually done with it or not. I may even be back here later. Okay, well, let's go this way then. Let's go this way. Oh, don't walk into that place. We still gotta go get our last Pokemon, and it's gonna even be more under leveled than Gyarados is. Oh god, it's gonna suck. Celadon City. Is that the city I skipped? It might have been. This is my turf! Get out of here! Can we move an entire episode, last episode, without doing a Pokemon battle? Is that just not insanity? I forgot to set my timer. Oops. Oh, great, a bird keeper. Spiro. What level is it? Level 26. It's just a Spiro. Look how badass Gyarados is. Seriously, already Splash, really. Um, let's try Surf. Haha, <laughs> it failed. That's because you're faster than me, silly guy. I forgot how weird Surf is in this movie, or movie in this game. Holy crap, there's a lot. Uh, let's try Bite. Eh. I'm pretty sure Bite's actually pretty good. Like, look at that. This isn't surfing. That's it's rain. Oh, he used Surf on me. And then it's like water spouts popping up in the sky. It's like, what? Hi, Spiro. Yeah, you deserve that. Alright. Level 20. What? That didn't level me up? Seriously? I'm shocked, actually. Alright, well, this guy's just clearly gonna have a bunch of Spiros. I'll see you guys in a second. Seriously? Really? That was one attack. I gotta show that. That was dumb. Alright, use Thunderbolt. 
Come on, just murder his face off. You can't even hear that, it's weird. Welp. That sucked. Can we please level up? Holy crap, I would've gotten 900 experience points if Gyarados would've survived. Yeah, it's freaking swap out. I think you'd have a Spearow though. I thought, would, I thought the last two Pokemon would've probably been two Fearows. I guess not. Darn! That's it, that's all I have to say, just darn. Seriously. This is my fave Pokemon hunting area. Okay, I'm gonna go heal. I can't believe I just fought one trainer and I already have to go heal. This sucks. We are back, guys. Woo! That's right, we could jump our bike. Okay, I forgot I had this thing. So that makes things travel that makes traveling a lot easier, rather. Alright, let's go. Hello, sir. Would you like some pancakes? I'll make the best pancakes. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Yeah, I used to do that, but now I found an entire team that I love. Well, almost. It's almost complete. Okay, so let's hope. 29, seriously? Gyarados, you're not gonna have fun. I really wish you would just level up already. Because he was almost take If he would have leveled up, he would have definitely been able to take out like level 26 Spearows in one hit. But nope, he's not leveling up, so I'm assuming these guys are all gonna have Spearows and Pharaohs again, so I will be right back. Finally, Gyarados levels up. Holy crap, he's hard to level up. Good lord. Alright. Feed the bird keeper. Tick! These guys just all have like literally one word stupid phrases at the end. I wish I had a bike. That's weird. Would you have said that if I could get off my bike? Hello? Are you gonna say that? What? Why is he talking about my bike for? That's weird, man. I'm kind of terrified, actually. Alright, what's in this grass? Spiro, what a freaking surprise! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! <sighs> oh! <sighs> How do you like my bird call? How do you like my bird call? Oh, it's Dodrio. I haven't seen this guy for a while. Let's kill him in one hit, because I hate him. I hate him! I hate his stupid bird faces! Wow, bird faces. Didn't think I'd ever say that. <laughs> oh, why couldn't Gyarados? Oh, that would have been, like, a lot of experience for Gyarados if he would have been able to fight! I had to bug you. The other bird Pokemon, a bug, sir. I also collect sea Pokemon on weekends. <laughs> What? I feel like that's a reference to something. I definitely, I, I've definitely, like, I also do this on weekends before. Alright, don't die. Oh! I was in one step of grass. One freaking step. It's like that comic where, like, someone's walking to a cave, like a Pokemon cave. You know how, like, Zubat always comes up? And the guy, like, he's right at the entrance of the cave, and he takes one little tiny tiptoe step, and, like, 30 Zubat just jump him. And it, it'd probably just be funny if I just showed that on screen. I don't know. But yeah, I thought the comic was silly. It was hilly Billy. Oh, God, literally, literally. Oh, seriously? What is that? I'm pushing right and you're going down. What the heck, man? Alright. So now I can go in here. I almost forgot to start talking again. What's, do we go up here? I don't remember if I did. I haven't recently. Why is there a chef here? With silly little hat that looks like it's shrugging. I'm looking for Tangela. Want to trade one for a Parasect? No, that's a terrible trade. Oh, oh well. That's a really bad trade. Parasect is the evolved form of Paris. And... Unless you're having a really bad time. There are people swimming. I was having a really terrible time trying to find, like, a pa like Paris and train it up. It's kind of pointless. Pal, Pal Town is to in the west! Cool, why don't we go there? We're going west right now. I think. Unless this place is, like, swapped for some reason. You say anything? Cycling Road is an uphill from- Oh, this is Cycling Road! Neat! So we haven't been here yet, guys! Cycling Road, no pedestrians permitted! Yep. So, Cycling Road is just as it sounds. Holy crap, is there, any is there anything here, I wonder? Alright, so, as you would imagine, since you're going uphill... Looks like we could swim to the top of this place, though, right? We say sign, hello? Sign, kept let, no, let me get it. Ugh. What do you say? Cycling road slope ends here. 
Yeah, well, it's definitely a lot more fun to go down the hill than it is to go. What's in this water? I wonder. Oh, can we not surf? I bet we can't surf. Cycling is fun. Forget surfing. Wow. Wow. I was really hoping just to use this as a way to um, go up and actually go down to the bottom and use this as a shortcut, but nope. Can I seriously not get off the bike? Well, I know I can't, but I just want to. You can't get off here. That's silly. Okay, so I guess there's, it's impossible to swim. So. Well, we could go up. Yeah, let's go up cycling hill. It's gonna be annoying, and maybe I'll just speed it up or something. Cause, you know, well, it, it seems pretty like linear though, like just a straight off hill, or is it? Oh, I I spoke way too soon, actually. <laughs> How difficult are the trainers here? I wonder. Get lost, kid! I'm bushed. What? I'm bushed? What does that even mean? I've never heard that phrase in my life. Never ever. I'm sure it's a 90s phrase, but I've never heard it. <laughs> Level 25. Okay. This is probably more good for Garrulous to train because I'm assuming that they're all gonna be around this platform. I think we could we were supposed to come to Cycling Road a while back. So I'm kinda Well yeah, because at least now we'll be able to fight with Gyarados and probably level them up properly. There we go. Look at that amazing 600 experience. Um, looks like this guy's just gonna have a bunch of wheezings and coughings. Is that true? If that's true, if he has another coughing after this, I'm probably just gonna cut this battle. Look at that, look at- Wheezing looks awesome! Is this the first time we've seen Wheezing? This might be the first time we've seen him, I don't recognize that sprite. Well, I kinda- I do, but I mean... I feel like we haven't seen it in this Let's Play. I don't know. But yeah, you know, we definitely would've. Unless there's a third- is there a third of all form of Wheezing? I think that comes later in Generations, right? Okay, could you please die, sir? I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking you to die. Would bite be better? I never know. I never know, yo, bro. Oh, good lord. Of course it's a critical. Why not? We'll tackle. Ah, definitely not tackle. That was a bad idea. Yes, but it was enough to take him out. Aw, oh, whitey, whitey, whitey. Level 23. Yay. Woo! Coughing. Yes, use your coughing. Use all your coughs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut the battle here, guys. All right, there we go. Level 24, level 24. All right, I was hoping you would level up. Okay, are you satisfied? Yeah, and you're bushed. Haha, <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to... You know what, I would not be surprised if people have come before. Do I really not have any healing? I don't have any methods of healing. Well, that probably wasn't very smart of me. I do have the max potion, but I feel like that'd be a waste. Ah, whatever, let's use it. Um, Gyarados did get beat up. I was I was able to fight that entire guy's party without using any other Pokemon besides Gyarados, so that was definitely good from experience-wise. Yeah, so if you don't, you have to be holding up and you go slow. If you let go, you just go down like that, in case you're wondering. Mm, let's go up the left path, I guess. Oh, hello, just, they just all loop together anyways. Oh, come on. Come on, I'll just say, like, get in, get in the hole. Get in the hole. I want to read the sign. I want to read the sign. I want to read the sign. Thank you. It's a notice. Don't throw the game. Throw Pokeballs instead. <laughs> oh, I was totally one of those kids who, whenever I get mad at a game, this was before. Actually, no, this is my Game Boy Advance too. Um, before like Game Boy Advance and all that, I did have like kind of like games. Be a rebel. That's cool. But I would throw them. Like I had um, a Digivice. I don't know how many. Of you Whoa! What the heck is this guy? Q ball? What? I don't recognize this guy at all. Normally when I see like sprites in this game that like I don't really remember too well, I at least like they ring some kind of bell in my mind, but like this one, this guy, nope. This guy is just like nope, nope. Rage. I'm dead. Oh, never mind. I'm the opposite of dead. I'm completely fine. Rage just Oh yeah, Rage is a really dumb move, isn't it though? Rage is like that move that sounds like it'd be ter Oh, it's building millions of scares. Okay, well, uh, that's still not gonna do that much damage. Okay, I did a bit more. And this should finish him. Finish him! I really like Surf because it's like, it's 100% accuracy and it's a pretty, like, reliable move, too. And then critical hits, like, quite a lot, surprisingly. That was only. What? I was gonna be more than that. That was a high level thing. Machoke! Machoke! I will machoke your face off. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I had, like, a Digivice. Actually, I had a few of them. Where the main purpose of it was you're walking in a direction, the only way you walk was by shaking it, and I'm sure that annoyed my parents to no end. Because on like car rides to like my cottage, which was an hour away, I would shake the thing the entire freaking time. 
I think the point of it was you're supposed to run with it, but of course everyone just shook it with their hands. And I would always get so mad because like you do walk and then you get into battles, and I lost the battles a lot. And I would get mad. I would scream. I'd hit, hit it against my head. I'd throw it across the room. And then I got a Game Boy Advance when I was for my seventh birthday. Six, seven, eight. No, it definitely wasn't eight. It was mi five, six, or seven. I probably got it. Ah! Oh, he's so ugh, freaking cue ball. What do you have to say now? Be ready to fight for your beliefs. Okay, that's weird. Cue ball. <laughs> that's funny. He's just a freaking billiards ball. But yeah, so when I got my Game Boy Advance, my parents were like, "Chris, you can't throw this anymore. You're gonna break it, and we're not gonna buy you a new one." And I was like, "I won't." And I actually didn't for the longest time. My Pokemon will evolve. Why? I don't know. What do you have? Do you have stupid Pokemon that don't evolve? Does he have like a Nidoran or something? I'm gonna laugh if he has Nidoran. But yeah, for the longest time, I never, like, threw it or got mad. Well, I did get mad, but I was just like, oh, I wish I could throw this across the room. Oh, I get it. They won't evolve because you have to trade Machoke to evolve them. But yeah. Um, yeah, eventually I had to get, start getting mad at my Game Boy Advance. I would start hitting it against my head, hitting the screen against my head. It was just, like, a satisfying, like, hit, you know? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird, like, even now, like, I don't know. Thinking back on it, I mean, it's obviously stupid, don't hit your electronics, but at the same time, it's like, gotta take out your rage somehow, and what better way to do it than in a super unhealthy manner. Alright, um, 25, yes. Oh, oh, his PP gets, um, Dragon Rage, nice. His PP gets restored too, so I, I was thinking I was gonna have to go to the Pokemon Center to get back Surf. I guess not. We gotta keep Splash forever. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, let's get rid of that. Tackle we gotta get rid of too, because Tackle's pretty dumb. Dragon Rage, doesn't that do like a set 40 damage, or is that Dragon Claw I'm thinking of? I don't remember. It might be Dragon Rage though. Why you? You little. I don't see the Dragon Rage or Dragon Claw that does 40 damage all the time though. Maybe some Pokemon need Element Stones to evolve. True, but I don't think Machoke does. And what was his other Pokemon? I don't remember anymore. Oh, is that his only Pokemon? I don't even know, yo, bro. Okay, what? Let Voltorb electrify you! Have you fought a Voltorb yet? I don't know. I don't know. Thankfully, though, going back to, like, when I was hitting my devices as a child, thankfully I kind of grew out of it. I still get mad and punch things occasionally. Not really electronics. I punch other things instead of my electronics. <laughs> oh, no, my PP didn't get restored. Let's take a look. Let's see how great Dragon Rage does. Gonna do 40, isn't it? Ooh, whoa. Well, maybe they do 40. I don't know. I guess it's kind of impossible to tell unless someone uses it against me. Hmm. I think this might be the no, or is it Dragon Claw? I don't remember. Yeah. All right, use your Voltorb. But for now, it seems pretty good though. So we'll keep using it until that runs out PP. Then I'll probably have to go back to the personal computer, the PC, the Pokemon Center. The Mac, we'll go to the Mac to revive our Pokemon. Oh, great! Okay, I said before self destruct is one of the most powerful moves in the game. That's actually not. Of course, it's a critical hit, and it still didn't kill me. Great. Maybe I should just go now, to be honest, while I'm here. While I'm dead. Grounded out! Yeah, you're grounded, sir. No toys for a week! Yeah. I got my Voltorb at the abandoned power plants. What a band of purple. Whee! Going downhill is fun. I'm not even pressing the controller. I'm dropping the controller. The controller is dropped now. I dropped the controller. I'm just going to go forever. I'm going to go forever. Holy crap, we've gone a long way. This is a lot bigger place than I thought it was. Jeez, man. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to heal my Pokemon and probably meet you where I was before. Okay, so I think this is the last guy I fought right there. Is this the end? Might be the end already. Hello? There's no money in fighting kids. Yeah, yeah, I want your ears if you beat me because you get half of my money, yeah? Oh my god, what? Why? Why do I not remember these guys for one and for two? Why are they so scary? Why are they just like. They're seriously just like the cue ball. They, they are. I mean, there is no denying it, there is no questioning it. They are just cue balls. Actually, I was gonna cut it there, but I guess we haven't fought Mank or have we? We haven't fought many Mankeys. Mankey's pretty cool though. It's like he's like the Manka Manka. 
He's like a manka. He's gonna spank ya. He's gonna spank ya. His manka. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. He is dead. Yes, level 26. Garros. No, he did seem super hard to train at first, but now he's getting up there already. He's getting going faster and faster. Normally, it's like the first few level. Like when, like when he's level 20, I felt like he should have gone up to like 22 and 23 and all that pretty quickly. But now. That didn't seem to be the case. It seemed now that he's actually like level 25, level 26, he's leveling up a lot quicker. Bite did absolutely nothing and I completely regret using it. Don't you karate chop me with gloves. Come on! Getting karate chopped with boxing gloves! No, that should not be a thing that damaged me at all, actually. I refuse. I refuse! Oh, seriously? Oh, okay. I, oh, I did critical hit me before, didn't it? Didn't it? I believe it did, man! Right. Mm. Burned out! Yeah, yeah, you are, sucker. Good stuff is lying all around cycling. Really? I have yet to see any of it, actually. What do you want, kiddo? I want your soul! Okay, well. Hello. Hello, sir. Would you like something? I'm a chop. Look at that. Her arms. It's like, you know, when in TV shows, when people go to show their muscles. Alright, so it's more like in cartoons, I guess. But it's like it's like in SpongeBob, where SpongeBob goes and shows muscles, but instead of going up, the muscles go reverse. They go they go down instead of up. I don't know. That's what that reminds me of. Oh, of course it's a critical hit. Why not, right? I right, might as well use Surf because I know it'll hit first. Okay. Once we get to the top cycling world, I guess I'll call it an episode. Whenever that happens, I'll put soon because I think we're getting up there in time. Actually, I know we're getting up there in time. Nope. We shan't change Pokemon. There we go. All right, mate. Okay, now we're gonna swap out for funny foo foo. Okay, well I guess I'll skip this part of the battle. You guys don't need to see this guy again. Whoa! Whoa, man! Whoa! Whoa! I could barely bump you out of here. Yeah, he probably could actually. Um, is this the end? <laughs> Probably, right? Ah, there we go. Holy crap, there's a lot of guys here. Route 16, installed on City. Fashino City. Yup, indeed it is. Oh, is there, there's no way to avoid these guys, is there? I just want to go heal my precious. My precious. Come, come. Okay, there we go. Oh, there is. There is indeed a way. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to call an episode here. Snorlax! You stand in my way once more! But this time, I'm glad I brought my polka flute with me, actually. I, I considered putting it away, I'm like, no, it's useful that I could wake people up with it. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Wait a minute, polka flute does the opposite, it wakes you up, doesn't put you to sleep. But it's such a relaxing song, an attack in a grumpy rage. Well, I guess we're finding Snorlax number two. I was gonna end off the episode. <laughs> I got distracted by freaking Laxative's brother. Laxy. Laxy Poo. Uh, not a good idea, but let's do it. I'm gonna hope he rest. He's not gonna rest though, he's full health. Why would he rest? The AI knows better than that, I'd hope. Yeah, oh, I was like, maybe he'll miss, but no, he won't miss. That's too convenient. Okay, so I considered catching this guy too on the brief second that I realized, remember, he existed. And calling him like Laxative 2 or Laxy's brother or something, but that'd be kind of pointless. Might as well just kill him. Keep one and kill the other. Amnesia. Alright. Bye, Mr. Snorlax. Goodbye. No one will miss your stupid fatty fat 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 stupid head. Oh, sorry. Big yawn, Snorlax returned to the mountains. No, actually, I'm pretty sure we knocked him out, and he's probably going to be dead now. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Pokemon Yellow, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're ready. My name's Chris. Next time, we'll go the reverse way down. Bike road lane, whatever. What's this called again? Cycling road. Yeah, that place. All right, see you guys later. Peace.